Bonjour. Okay, in this tutorial we're going to be looking at some more questions first time you meet somebody. Now, um, really, if you're not on first name terms with somebody, you should really be using the more formal version of you, which is VU. Um, but what I'm going to do is keep it simple, I'm just going to use the informal TO, and then afterwards we'll look at uh, same, giving the same information, but when the question was, uh, we're just going to look at the questions with the VU form as well. Okay, so um, here are the answers. So imagine I meet somebody for the first time and they ask me questions and these are the four answers that I give. So, je m'appelle Carl. Um, so that's, I'm called Carl. So the first question would be, like, what's your name? What are you called? So it's, um, comment, comment tu t'appelles? Comment tu t'appelles? Okay, and then um, come back to this one. So, je suis, je suis anglais, or je suis anglais, you can liaise, but I don't want to dwell on uh, liaise on a, se a separate tutorial. Um, if we look at um, this third one, so j'habite à Nottingham, I live in Nottingham. Um, so, we can say uh, you live. So to make a question in French, you can just say like a sentence, you live, to and eat, and then we can put the, the, the question word where, who, um, after, to habite who, or we can, um, we can do it another way, we can put habite Put the verb first and then the subject and eat to. And then we put the, so live you and we put the question word at the front. Who and eat to. There is another way of asking a question, but um, we'll look at that in another tutorial on forming questions in French. So to and eat who, you live where, or who and eat to. Also, when you put the verb first, you have to put a little hyphen between the verb and the subject. Now, which one should you use? I prefer to use, I think it's better to use this one. This is kind of more uh, conversational. This is a bit, bit rigid. It's also, this is easier. It's just basically the uh, sentence, but you've got to kind of make it sound like a, a question, otherwise um, it won't be clear. Well, it will be with the question word, but sometimes when it's a yes, no uh, question, you might not be clear that you're asking a question unless you uh, 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 sort of make it sound like a song. Um, so, tu habites où? J'habite à Nottingham. So now we can come back to the uh, second question. So we've got the, uh, the word où meaning where. So, I, so this is je suis anglais or je suis anglais. I'm English. So, um, talking about my nationality. Now, you could say what's your nationality? That sounds a bit Severe, doesn't it? It sounds like you're uh, at the uh, uh, your border patrol or something, or passport uh, checking somebody's passport. So you can say um, you are from where? So to air, and then where is u and from is de. But when you've got de ending in an E and U ending with an O. You don't have two vowels together. So to avoid that, what we can do is get rid of the E and uh, to edu, you are from where? Or we could also say, um, we could put this at the front, we could say, from where are you? Do, E, to remembering. When you put the verb before the subject, there's um, a hyphen between them. To edu, or do it to, doesn't really matter. And uh, last one, je suis professeur. Okay, so I am a teacher. You can see that in French, they don't use the word a uh, or an before a job. They don't say I am a teacher, they say I am a teacher. So I would just say uh, the question, Michel, ton Métier. Quel est ton métier? So, what is your 
profession? What is your vocation? So let's just have a practice. Uh, comment tu t'appelles? Comment tu t'appelles? Uh, tu es d'où? Tu es d'où? Tu habites où? Tu habites où? And finally, quel est ton métier? Okay, so now we're going to go on to looking at um, what questions to ask somebody uh, when you're using the more formal vous form of the verb. Okay, so now we can look at um, what I've done is remove some words and uh, we're, going to, uh, we're going to replace, um, basically you've got the same structure, but we're now going to do it for the vous form for asking questions. So, uh, comment tu t'appelles? Then in the vous form becomes comment vous appelez? Appelez vous. Comment vous appelez vous? And then remember we had two a er, du. Now for the vous form it's vous êtes. Vous êtes. Du. So when you have vous followed by a verb, it means the vowel or. or um, Often H as well, some verbs beginning with H, not all. Um, then you get liaison, so VU, you don't normally hear the S, but uh, when the next verb in this case begins with an E, you get VUZ. So it becomes like the S almost sort of transforms into a Z sound and gets pushed over into the next word. So it's like, it's not like VUZ, it's more like VUZ, but because you say it quickly, you don't really hear that, that kind of. Where it joins. Vous êtes du, um, and then the next one, j'habite à Nottingham. So remember, before it was tu habites où, so for the vous form, it's vous, vous habitez où, and again, you've got the liaison here, vous habitez où. Uh, and then before we had quel est ton métier, now um, when we when we're using the two form of the verb, the um, with métier, the word for your is ton. But when we're using the vous form, the word for your is votre. Okay, so let's have a practice of those. Comment vous appelez-vous? Vous êtes d'où? Uh, vous habitez où? Quel est votre métier? One more time, yeah. Uh, comment vous appelez-vous? Vous êtes où? Uh, vous habitez où? Quel est votre métier? Okay, so uh, jusqu'à la prochaine fois.